These are the top five things you need to know about 5G. Right now, a lot of us are using 4G LTE networks on our phones. 5G is the next generation mobile network and it's coming soon. So, will it make everything super amazing? Kind of, let's get to it. At number five, it's coming soon. AT&T says it will have mobile 5G up and running in 12 cities by the end of 2018. Waco, Atlanta, and Dallas are three of the cities that have been named. AT&T is also a special case. It has branded some of its services 5G Evolution. That is not the same thing as true 5G, the standard. AT&T claims the 5G Evolution is the foundation for 5G. Every major US carrier has said they will have 5G up and running in 2019. And number four, increased capacity. 4G networks can still get overloaded. The 5G network can handle a lot more everything. It can pump out a lot of data. Verizon will be offering in-home 5G connections to three to five US markets in 2018. So far, Sacramento and Los Angeles have been confirmed to be two of those. And there won't be data caps. 5G can handle more devices too. Expect a lot more connected devices since the network is built to handle it. Number three, low latency, and that's a good thing. That means there's less of a lag between you requesting data and you getting data when you're using a 5G device. This should allow for crazier experiences like watching a basketball game live in virtual reality. It could also allow for vehicles to get incredibly important information about its surroundings from other connected devices to avoid crashing into other objects. And number two, the pucks. The first mobile devices on the 5G network are not likely to be phones or tablets. AT&T CEO says expect pucks that work like mobile hotspots to be the first to use a mobile connection to 5G. Why is this? Chip makers say a 5G compatible radio that can fit into a phone will not be likely to appear until early 2019. AT&T has said it wants 5G deployed in 2018. And the number one thing you need to know about 5G is the speed. There is a difference between theoretical speeds and what you'll actually see. The average mobile speed in the US was around 20 megabits per second, according to Ookla, the people behind speedtest.net. A Verizon senior VP said a user on 5G should be getting around one gigabit per second. That's 50 times faster than the average mobile speed. Thanks to Roger Chen for his help on this episode. Are you thinking about getting 5G in your home? Let me know. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.